Hello Twins fans and welcome back to another episode of From Lee to Limestone. I'm Matt Lenz with Twins Daily and today I want to look at the players that were recently put on waivers by the Los Angeles Angels to see how they will fit with the Minnesota Twins. Now the move in itself was kind of unprecedented in this new era of you know not having that waiver trade deadline. Um, I think teams especially because all of these players were acquired at the trade deadline I think teams are are pretty surprised that that the Angels made this move. Now from their perspective of it's a no-brainer. These players were not a part of their future plans. They are obviously selling on the playoffs after the Otani news and Mike Trout's been injured more. Um, and so no-brainer to save some money and to open up some at-bats and innings for some of their prospects. But also it, it provides kind of an interesting dynamic for the rest of baseball. As Jeff Passan says in this tweet, um, the way that this will work is that teams with the worst record that make a claim will get the player that they claim. And so, it, you know, for the most part, of course, this doesn't work perfectly, but for the most part, wildcard contenders are going to have an op the first opportunity to add these players followed by you know second place teams in their division and then followed by first place teams now again that doesn't work out perfectly let's use the al central as an example there are multiple wildcard teams that have better records than the minnesota twins so while the minnesota twins aren't at the bottom of the list they actually find themselves in a pretty good position here to be able to claim one of these guys if not maybe more I doubt that will happen but they're actually in a fairly good spot here so let's look at the play players themselves starting with the the only starter Lucas Giolito of course with the White Sox has had a really up and down career has been pretty kind of just blah over the last few seasons could he improve our rotation I guess is that a high priority ad for me no. So let's move on. Then let's look at the relievers, Matt Moore and Reynaldo Lopez. Moore is a lefty. Lopez is a righty. Uh, Moore, Moore is my preferred option here if they go the route of a reliever. He has really good strikeout and walk rates. Uh, his his peripherals suggest maybe a little bit of negative regression. You know, his XERA or his XFIP kind of suggest a little bit of negative regression there. But otherwise, he's been very solid this year and has actually performed well in high leverage. Not that the Twins necessarily need him in high, in high leverage, but obviously that's just something that is a little bit more comforting uh, when a player is uh, or can perform in those situations. Uh, and then Reynaldo Lopez, uh, you know, kind of the bigger name of the two, but also the bigger wild card. He has a high strikeout rate, which is great, but he also has a very high walk rate, which is where that wild card aspect comes in. Again, has had a very solid season, but he's actually struggled in those high leverage roles this year. So he'd be, you know, a little bit less of an option in, in later in games or in a high leverage situation. But again, a solid pitcher, no doubt, probably, you know, a higher ceiling, but a shakier floor. Whereas Matt Moore is the same safer bet. And I think with the state of our bullpen, I want the safer bet more than the higher ceiling. So I would prefer Matt Moore of those two names. And then the last group of players here, the, the group that I think the twins need to make a claim from are two right-handed hitting corner outfielders in Hunter Renfro and Randall Grichuk. Now, both players would come with actually very respectable strikeout and walk rates. Um, I would say that Renfro is my preferred target just because he has more traditional power uh, over the last you know, two plus seasons. He has uh, gotten almost 80 home runs, whereas Grichuk is, is somewhere in the high 50s, low 60s. So again, Renfro just has that more traditional power which I think is more of the organizational philosophy. So I would really love to see the Twins add Hunter Renfro. Randall Grichuk was a trade deadline target for me. I, I wouldn't hate seeing him, but at the time Renfro wasn't available and now he is. So that would be my, my preferred option of the two. Theoretically, both can play center field in a Big, big pinch. I don't think either has played there since 2019, so it's been a while. Um, but I, I definitely put Renfro above Grichuk in terms of, of which player do I want. And I think the Twins need to make a claim from one of those two players in that category. So to kind of summarize that, not super interested in Lucas Giolito as a starter. Um, kind of interested in Matt Moore or Reynaldo, Reynaldo Lopez as a reliever. And very interested in 
Hunter Renfro and Randall Grichuk as corner outfielders and right-handed bats. But with a claim, the Twins would need to make a roster move. They would need to make room on the 40-man roster for these players. So who gets chopped or how do they make that room? One thing I'll just mention, and I, we don't know because there's been no communication from the Twins, is our updates on Jose Miranda and Willie Castro. Uh, they're both on the 10-day IL right now. They've been there for quite a while. Can they move to the 60-day 60 60-day 60 IL, which would open up a 40-man spot? No idea. Obviously, especially in Miranda's case, if there's a chance that he can come back during the playoffs, you don't do this. Um, but again, we just don't know. There's been no communication. But that could be a route they go. It's just transferring one of those two players to the 60-day IL. Otherwise, we need to DFA somebody. And I think my number one with a bullet is different than the Twins. My number one with a bullet is Joey Gallo, of course. That said, they've had many opportunities to DFA him, and they haven't. And so I, I wouldn't be surprised to see the Twins DFA Jordan Luplo, who they acquired after the trade deadline in a, in a separate waiver claim. Um, those two are the top two, I think, going down the list. You could have Kyle Farmer. You could have Willie Castro. Um, you know, even more or less likely would be Dallas Keuchel, uh, Giovanni Moran, Josh Winder, you know, names like that. But um, I think Gallo and Luplo are definitely like the clear top two candidates that will, that are, are DFA candidates if the Twins were to acquire one of the uh, former Angels players that we just talked about. Again, Farmer and Castro aren't very far behind that list either, but they're technically a second tier for me. So that's that's what I think. I think the Twins, I really hope that they find a way to land Renfro. When I say find a way, it's not really up to them. They have to make a claim and then wait and see what other teams have made those claims. But I really think the Twins need to make claims on these players. Uh, it's only going to make them better and improve the roster. So it's a no-brainer for me. What are your thoughts on these players? Is there one player in particular you'd rather see? Are you more interested in Giolito than me? Let me know in the comments. Let me know on Twitter, at Lindsay2108. And let me know on YouTube, Musings from Twins Territory.